go! Hello and welcome to the Powerful African Women podcast. The podcast will empower the power in you. I'm Aisha Tu. And I am Sarah. And welcome to a new episode of our PAL series. So here we are in this quite cozy setting for our first yes. ever filmed episode. Check it on YouTube if you want to watch us actually and see our beautiful faces. Um, so let's just grab a blanket if you have one. Pour yourself a cup of tea and let's start. I know. Okay, I don't have tea. I, I'm going to get some water instead. Just, okay. you know, studying, staying hydrated. So that's the good for today. <laughs> okay. okay. So, Saron, my first question for you is, um, how are you? <sighs> that's, that's a heavy question today. I am fine. I'm good, you know. Okay. A bit busy with work, you know, but trying to make it. That's what's been an adult is, right? So, yeah. All right. So, for on my side, today I'm, I have a bit of a cold, so I'm apologizing for that weird voice that I'm having. <laughs> okay, okay. Girl. Usually, colds give like sexy voices, so just yeah, but enjoy I'm on the that first sexy face. voice. No, the, the, the sexy voice is coming like next, but this is just a weird voice. The duck no, voice, you know. Fine. <laughs> All right, so. Um, as always, we're going to do our fireside chat, you know, to get into the talk. Um, my first question for you is, um, how do you view, uh, uh, it's, it's more about how you view yourself in friendships. And I want to ask mm -hmm. you, uh, do you view yourself more like an Isa in a friendship or more like Yvonne in a friendship? Wow. So you're talking about insecure. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to insecure. She... No, Isa is toxic. I'm not Isa. So I'll, and even Yvonne, like I'll say I'm more of an Yvonne, but I feel like I'm even known. I'm, you know, the third girl, like the little chubby one. Yes. Their relationship, crazy. her and the woman that was pregnant, their relationship is a true definition of friendship. So I'll be like, I'll be in the middle between them two. But Isa and Yvonne, I cannot identify with any You did I'm choose sorry. Yvonne. I chose just by choice, but if I have to choose any character, it's the two other girls. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my second question is, are you more a giver or a receiver in your friendships? Mm, in my friendships, I think I'm in the middle. Like, okay. I can be a giver, but also I receive, like, especially from, you know, my friends, yeah. I don't think that we have a good balance, yeah. All right. No, I, I do agree. For me, I think it depends on the person. On, mm -hmm. But most of the time, I would lead to, toward being more of the giver. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, as you may have guessed, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk today about friendships and more precisely, the importance of keeping balanced friendships. Okay. Yeah. Um, because we, I, I think it's a topic we have talked quite a bit about with Saron. We had some long talk about it and I was like, okay, maybe I want to share it with our, with our network and wanted to do just, a, you know, a, uh, it, it's kind of a light topic. So I wanted to, to do it for today and our first mm -hmm. videoed episode. Yes, All right. I'm excited. Yes, same. So we actually, I, I have actually identified five points that I want to share with you. Mm -hmm. um, so my first, my first point is about balancing energies in the friendship. My second point is yeah. about balanced energy, meaning that you shouldn't give more that you might receive. Uh, a sign of that can be that you are always the one uh, that has to take care of the relationship, or you are always the one getting uh, the invitation, but you never invite the other one. You know, so whenever mm -hmm. there is that, it might be a sign that your relationship is is, is unbalanced and your friendship is unbalanced. Um, why is that problematic? First, because it's a waste of energy. Why? Because, you know, you, you're giving too much energy on someone who, is not, who might not give it back to you. So basically, it's, it's he or she is draining your energy out. And today, you know, with everything going on, uh, that would be like, you have to figure out money, taxes, your health issues, you need to find a place to live, dating, marriage, or not, uh, kids, or not, you know. So you have so many things going on that you need to be quite um, 
reasonable about where you want to spend your energy. And friendship should be one that actually gives you energy or at least help you maintain that energy and, and not take yeah. it, you know, from you. So whenever that happens, it's going to bring you some frustrations. And if you have that, it doesn't mean that you have to end the friendship right away. It just means that you need to take a step back if you are always the giver, for instance. Um, the second problem is that whenever you have uh, that kind of unbalanced friendship, I, I think it, you, 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 we can all recall the time where we felt like our friend were taking advantage of us because we are too sweet, because we tend to give, I don't know, just snacks when you were a kid you know so that always happened and that's problematic as you will feel it exploited yeah. so what i would say is on that energy uh balancing the energy side is that you you really need to to focus on the friendship that is going to bring you the more uh, energy what i mean by bring you more energy is that you you give and you get back the same you amount of energy exactly. exactly but the power of that energy is really high because that person brings you joy um makes you feel better is a positive reinforce, uh, reinforcement for you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how what, what what is what do you think about this Sarah, about the, the energy and the balancing mm -hmm. of energy i friendships? think you know in friendships like <clears throat> And I usually like to say that, like in every type of relationship, right? It's about compromise in the term, in the sense that even if you know, like you guys cannot always meet each other's energy, but yes. you know, since that foundation is there, like you understand each other and you meet that person. So if that person yeah. needs your support, that's when you're there for them. When yeah. also you need the support, that person is going to show up. It's being there for each other, right? Yes. So I think that like really it's having just that foundation so that even when that person maybe is going through so much and they cannot show up for you, you understand that on your own side and be there for them, right? Yes. So it's understanding yeah. and compromise and yes. also just... I usually like to say that like I always have these conversations with my sisters you know and what i always mention and they always mention that to me as well is sometimes letting go of certain expectations yeah. because expectations bring a lot of frustration that's something yes. even with me like sometimes i do have expectations and i realize that we are human right yes. and you like whenever you have so many expectations of people have expectations of ex have expectations of you you become frustrated, but it's also the same way when you have expectations of other people that might feel that way. It's like you should be able to understand where they come from, right? Yes. So, yeah, that's kind of how I stand on those. It's like it's a mixture of compromise, understanding and letting go of certain expectations. Exactly. And actually, the fact that you talked about expectation is... Perfect, because that was my second point. And uh, maybe what, what I would like to add about that kind of expectation is also that, you you know, the weight of expectation, you, sh you should balance it among your friendship. Like, don't mm -hmm. put too much expectation on one friend. Because you will never, it's, it's almost impossible to find that friend who checked all the boxes of what you expect from a friendship. So you have to be able to balance, you know, that. Uh, you, you need to have that kind of a range of friend uh, of, of friends actually, uh, because every friendship is gonna be different. Some are gonna be more about uh, you know just ambition. Another one is just gonna be like she 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 or he might be like a good confident, you know. So you have you you need to balance your expectation and uh, um, amongst your friends. Don't put too much pressure on just one of them, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was the second point. Uh, my third point uh, is more about rebalancing re uh, friendships. You know, mm -hmm. you need to adapt your friendship with the person. Why? Because you know, with time, with just the environment, uh, your friendship is gonna evolve. Um, that friends you had maybe now has a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a kid, or is moving abroad, or just have changed because personality personalities actually change you know so mm -hmm. you you need to be able to be flexible and uh, and evolve with that friend so mm -hmm. whenever you feel like you're drifting a bit apart you might correct it by you know taking a step back and re-evaluating re your friendship that's really important don't expect the friends you met you meet like in in uh, in school to stay the same same person throughout like his mm -hmm. or her life it's impossible so yeah 
Exactly. And I mean, just to add on that point too, it's again, it's the same way that they shouldn't expect you to be the same person. It's not even fair, yes. right? So yeah. sometimes it's like you also have to bring back to you, like, what do you wish your friends were for you? So mm -hmm. the way like you wish your friends were for you, behave the same with also your friends because it will also show, you know, yes. like your value and how you value them. So yeah. Yes. Yes. So quite an important point. And then there is my fourth point, that is, you shouldn't be afraid to end a friendship that is no longer working. Okay, you, you, you would think that it's obvious, but I feel like, you know, in romantic relationship, it makes sense, you know, whenever you're in a relationship with a guy or a girl, and it's not working out, you just end it. But for friendship, it's way more tricky. It's like, it's not that obvious that whenever it's not working, you, you, you might try, you know, to force it, to make it work, and... You, if, if it's just not meant to be, it's not meant to be, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. it, it, and actually for your sanity, I think you need to be okay to end it. And frankly, in, since I've really like, since the past two, three, maybe four years, I, I've, I've lost, I, I've lost some friend, not because we had a dispute or something went bad. It's just that we drifted apart you grow away, and yeah. exactly. You just grow away. And at the beginning, it was so overwhelming for me because I'm like, okay, I don't understand what's going on. Like, I, I still appreciate it. I, I still appreciate that person, but we couldn't just manage and continue to be friends, you know. Mm -hmm. And for me to accept to let go of that friendship, it was, it, it took me a while, but after that, I just kind of felt lighter because, you know, it's just, okay, it's, it and things end and then new things begin. So yeah. it's okay. And yeah. again, life, that life, I always say that life happens, right? And yeah. the same way you grow apart, you can come back later on, exactly. right? That's exactly. So just choosing yourself when you have toxic friendship or what you consider maybe a little toxic to you, there's nothing wrong. I remember like I used to watch this show that I talk, told you about, right? Love Life. Mm. That yeah. show on HBO, I just loved it. And yeah, there was this girl, like she had a strong friendship, you know, with this other girl. But the, the one of them was really toxic. And she mm -hmm. took, like, she took it upon herself to try to make, you know, her friend change, change, and it never happened. Mm -hmm. So she just decided she had to choose herself. And it is like something I always say is whether, like, whenever you have a choice, choose yourself first. Yes. right because they will choose themselves and at the end of the day you're going to be appreciated for that so yeah, yeah i do agree that it is okay. okay to go because you guys can come back and you'll also have more appreciation for each other because you mm -hmm. have your boundaries yes 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 and that actually actually brings us to my last point that yeah. is that you can grow, grow new friendship so for that you need to be open because i feel like whenever it comes to friendship you tend to want to you know be friends with people who look just like you so as we are like black african women uh, our friends are mainly gonna be black african men or women because they just look like us and most of my friends are actually black african mm -hmm. however it doesn't mean that your friends only have to be black african women you 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 need to be able to also be more open widen your horizon and have friends that are di really different maybe from another country or just that at first you wouldn't say okay she she or he is gonna be my friend you know Mm -hmm. Because you actually might get surprised. Uh, your your French, the idea of friendship, I think, is also to have some kind of diversity of friendship. And whenever you kind of, you know, try something new, it's just you you test yourself, and you might find some kind of interest that you might develop with someone who you wouldn't thought you had a feel like a, uh, a, a feel connection. Like yeah, uh, exactly that connection. So. Yeah, being open and you might be surprised and meet amazing people. Yeah, I mean, you kind of said it, right? Yes. Diversity is key. <laughs> yes. Always, you know. Ah, don't put all, 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 all... How do you say that in English? Don't put all... In French... Your eggs. In okay, okay, in, in one basket. Okay, that's good. Okay, you know, I know in French is... Uh, quelque chose dans la même cour. 
<laughs> ah non, moi c'était ne mets pas tes même tout ne mets pas tous tes œufs dans le même plat or something. Yeah, like it's the same thing you don't put your eggs same, in the yeah. same basket. Yeah. Yeah, I don't speak any language. Oh my anyway. gosh. Whatever. You can't be saying get your in the same pool. Oh my yes. my dad would be so ashamed of me right now, damn. So, yeah, that was that was um what I wanted to talk about. Like overall my points on that friendship and balancing friendship is that a friendship should Uh, be a positive reinforcing support system always yes. and whenever it is not run don't force it you know don't stick to it it's okay let it go people change and that's okay um it also means that you will find new friends mm -hmm. yes and so. just to say it's kind of like friendship is the family you choose for yourself so just choose yes. wisely right yes yes that's yes all. All right, so that was it for our first filmed episode. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching us, for listening to us. Yes. Um, we really love doing this episode. Uh, we, ho we really want to also know what you felt about it, what you felt on the topic, what you felt about the video format or just mm -hmm. about the episode. So uh, leave us a comment on the YouTube video. I think below you can like type something and you can also talk to us through our uh, Instagram account. Yes. So yeah, that was it for today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you guys you so much. We Thank hope you for really watching. Enjoyed it. And yeah, we hope. just stay tuned for our next episodes. And in the meantime, don't forget to bring out the power in you. Bye bye.